Welcome to my world. decorate this starfish wreath from the Dollar Tree with the tool bench rope. We're going to make a nautical starfish with this rope from the tool bench. It is 25 feet. I thought it would be a little more frugal than buying the actual nautical rope and saving the what I have for other projects. And I got this really pretty starfish. I think he's awesome. We're going to wrap the rope all the way around it. I'm going to get a good knot going. And you're going to need a couple of zip ties. No glue required unless you want to embellish it with other items. You're going to make yourself a knot here and tie it tight. You're going to take your You're going to make your knot, make it really tight. And then you're going to slip the zip tie through the knot and through the starfish. Then you're going to take the zip tie And pull it through. That way the rope is secure. Then you're going to cut the excess off and start wrapping it around. You can use a couple of zip ties on either end to make sure they're secure. And it doesn't come untwined. Take another zip tie, do the same thing, to make sure it's secure. I have two on here now. I'm going to take the rope. And you're going to lead it through. If you can't find an nautical rope, they have this rope available in the tool section at most Dollar Trees. They have this available in most Dollar Trees in the tool section. And you're just going to keep Wrapping it around. Until you have it how you want it to look. The row is done. Now I'm going to do this part and this part. And then hopefully finish off this side. And I'll have half the starfish done. The starfish is starting to look like. I'm going to go around one more turn and wrap and hopefully get one half of the starfish. That's what the starfish is starting to look like. I'm only going to do the one bar and the one side. I think it'll look really pretty. Give a little pop in my home with the nautical theme. I'm hoping I have enough rope to finish to this foot here. It's starting to look like. Now this is a tricky part. You gotta get it looped under. When I came down this turn, it had to be reversed. You're gonna pull it through. And there's a lot of rope left here. So I'm gonna continue on, finish this side. I'm gonna just keep going until there's no more rope. It's done that I want. Side's done that I want. I'm just going to trim off the excess to see if I can wrap around any more and to see how far it will go. Zip tie. I'm going to tie it. I'm going to get a second zip tie to make sure it's completely secured. That is what it looks like. 
which is done. I'm going to cut the excess rope off. And there's still quite a bit left. This is a fair amount of rope that they give you from the Dollar Tree, the total bench rope. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and I'm going to zip tie it. Finished product with it tied all the way around the rope. I like the white on it, it makes it pop. That's a lot of tool bench rope that they give you for the $1.25 price. I was able to wrap all the way around instead of just one side. I think it looks pretty. You just tuck in the ends here and hide the zip ties.